Hello guys, this is Joshua Hawes, as you can tell by the title of the video, I'm doing a review for DC Titans Season 2. Um, I'm, it's not as good as the first season, I still enjoyed it, but it was weird because, this is the weirdest part. The first ep I thought because Season 1 ended on a cliffhanger, that this story was going to continue all, go through Season 2 and that's when it's going to end and we're going to have a new story afterwards. No. Uh, the first episode of season two is basically the finale for season one. Why couldn't they put that in season one? I don't know. They didn't. So, that was a bit weird, because that's honestly a really good season finale, but it's not. It's just a way to open up a new sh season. So, that was a bit annoying. Um, this show has been conflicted, because um, I was really a huge fan of the last season of Rachel, or Raven, I believe was her superhero name, I was a huge kind of fan with of her character. In, but in this season, she doesn't really do a whole lot, to be honest. Like, she doesn't have a big role, and yes, you could say her story is kind of, they've kind of told the story with her already in the first season. Because, like, the first season was more focused on her season, her, of her, um, Oh, on her. This is was focused on the old Titans, and what happened to them, how this impacts the now, and stuff like that. But some of it I thought was really interesting, like the stuff with Deathstroke, I thought was um, really interesting, the way they use Deathstroke, uh, which is quite good, because in Justice League, all we see from him is a uh, post credit scene, but his family was supposed to be much more, and I don't think we're even going to get it, because they're doing a soft reboot of the DCEU, so, I don't even know if it's a reboot, or they're still going to do it, I don't know, the DCEU is a reboot, I, this is not part of the DCEU, you can tell, because Bruce Wayne's in this, and it's not Ben Affleck, um, and this was made before, I believe before he quit, I think, uh, don't quote me on that, but even the first, so yeah, um, he was um, really Good. Uh, he played a much bigger role, and they used him quite nicely uh, to really play into Dick Grayson's character. Dick Grayson's character is very interesting in this show, more interesting than the last season. It's very compelling, I think, because um, he's not this straight-up superhero like Batman, who's just goes with these, has no problems, has no real ki like. He's very different to Batman, and uh, he's made up bunch of mistakes, like a load of mistakes that really kind of get high down show. He's a flawed man who's gone through a lot, and, and they kind of build that quite nicely to another problem with his past until he can over, hope, slowly overcome it, which was really good. There's one point in the show where he absolutely snaps, and I was just like, jeez, he just snapped, like, okay. <laughs> So yeah, um, I noticed that the young, the newer characters that they introduce in this, in the first season, don't really have as much to do in this season. Uh, apart from the, uh, adults, like, but more like Beast Boy. By the way, the weird thing is, they confirmed in the first episode of season two, or the finale to season one, whatever you want to call it, that he can transform into other creatures. He was, um, because we saw him before... Oh, he transformed a tiger, he transformed into a snake. Okay. Um, but for the rest of the season, he's just a tiger. <laughs> so, yeah, it's almost like they kind of forgot that. But Yeah, it's interesting. Um, I just don't know what it is, because it's not. It's a much more grounded storyline, and just not as magic. It kind of doesn't have that, the thing that the first show her about the powers and stuff like that, because they talk about her new powers because, uh, kind of a spoiler, she now has a, a gem and I thought about it. I like the way that it looked, it didn't feel like a fake little sticker thing, and it didn't feel like it wasn't CGI, so I like that they made it look like an actual, like, little diamond or whatever. But, yeah, and it's given her new powers, they just briefly touch on that, like, it's not really a big thing, I kind of hope they go more into that in the next kind of season, and the way this season 
ends is a bit like there's some stuff I didn't necessarily agree with, let's just say. I kind of um well not to spoil it. Because the problem is they build Deathstroke as your main villain. Your main villain. The final battle has nothing to do with Deathstroke. In the same episode, death it just it has something to do with a less interesting villain about a different subject. They tried to kind of cram two things in. They didn't make that storyline and the Death Joke storyline interrelated. It would just uh, no, like, sorry, um, but if they just made it connected, it would do well because they kind of made Death Joke the main storyline, but that's not what ended the series season. It was the side storyline that was the final showing of the season. So yeah, I did really like how they did. Um, episodes that kind of off the main kind of story, like, like they did episodes um, for the character we see at the end of season one in the post credit scene, which this season doesn't have. So we see that, and then we have an episode hit character, and it kind of links into the rest of the story. There are quite a few flashback episodes, like there was the last time. Those were really good. I really like the flashback episodes to kind of give a more clear into what happened in Dick Grayson's past and stuff like that. And yeah, um, I enjoy this season. I just don't know what it is. And the next villain that looks like they're building towards, it's something that I didn't really care too much about. Uh, they doing an issue is about someone who's on the same planet as Corey. I think her name is. Um. So they're doing a bit, I think it's like a sister or something, they didn't really touch on it. I don't care, they just kind of briefly put that in, and she's uh, she's going to be the, probably like the main villain of the next season. I don't know. So, uh, and I'm not too keen, I'm still watching the season when it comes out. I'm, I'm just torn on this show, I'm, on this season, sorry. Season 1 was great, I was really surprised about how entertaining it was but this was like it was fun it was nice um but some of the stuff was really interesting some of the stuff was meh and some of it was you know nice i just feel like the, the season finale could have been done better there were some things that i didn't like agree with um which i don't want to get into because it's spoilers but overall i still enjoyed this show i still enjoyed it so i'd give it about a seven and a half out of ten, I think that's fair. Because there's some episodes that I love and some are just like filler. And the last season and especially with live action T V shows, you can't sorry, you can't really have a lot of filler filler. So I'd give this a seven and a half out of ten. I think that's fair. It's just not as good as I'm worried that from what we see building into the future, based on my how much I care about it looking to be a week season whenever it comes out apparently it's scheduled to come out this year but i that's why i saw on the internet when i did a bit of research they're because of this situation in this world that might not even happen so i don't know i give it a seven and a half out of ten so i hope you enjoyed this video if you did don't forget to like the video subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet turn notifications on to see them this video i'll see you all in the next video bye guys